broomstick or a hockey stick or something that you can press overhead. Otherwise, you don't need anything. All right, and then we're gonna finish up with some core. In terms of space and the space that you need, um, like literally, I'm in my living room. Uh, you can be in your basement. You can be almost anywhere as long as you can see me. That's the whole point. So what we're gonna do for our warm up, I'm gonna time you guys. We're gonna start with 30 seconds of high knees. I'll tell you when to go. Then we'll go butt kicks. Then we'll go jumping jacks, some burpees, and then we'll add some flexibility and mobility in there. All right, so just find yourself some space. We'll get started in high knees and I'll just tell you when to rotate through the exercises. So we'll start in three, two, one, and go. Let's go high knees. All right, so you wanna use your arms. You wanna be athletic with this motion. It's just to get warmed up so you don't feel like you need to sprint on the spot or anything like that. And we got about 15 more seconds here. All right, so about 10 more seconds, just keep moving. All right, try to get those knees past that hip crease. Good high knees over here. All right, let's transition to butt kicks. All right, butt kicks, same idea, just running on that spot. All right, I want you to use your arms like you're running. I don't want your hands to be stuck behind your back. Use your arms like you're running. Use your hamstrings to pull that heel to your butt. Good job, everyone. All right, so we got about 10 more seconds still. Keep going, keep going, don't stop, don't stop. This is just to get our heart rate up, just to get us nice and warm. Then what we're gonna do from here, let's go to jumping jacks, all right? 30 seconds worth of jumping jacks. Good job, keep moving, keep moving. Doing great, all right, then let's transition into burpees. So burpees all the way down to the ground. 30 seconds worth of burpees, start right now. So chest and thighs all the way down to the ground. Doing great, got 15 more seconds here. All right, keep going, you got five seconds. All right, so the next thing we're going to do, all right, so we can take a break here. Now we're gonna go through some mobility, flexibility work. First one we're gonna start with is toe touches. So I'll demo it for you and then you'll follow. So toe touches, just standing here, straight legs, touch the ground, come back up, legs back up. Let's do 10 of those. All right, so nice and slow. It should take you about three seconds to get down here and then come back up. All right, so 10 reps of those. Nice and slow, working on that stretch. All right, when you're done with 10 of those, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna walk out to a push-up, do a push-up, walk back up. So I go toe touch, walk out to my push-up, push-up, walk back to a standing position. Let's do 10 of those. If you have to do the push-up modified from your knees, that is fine. All right, so toe touch, walk out to your push-up, Push up, let's try to get all the way down to the ground. Let's do 10 of those. Play some music here, make it a little bit more enjoyable. All right, so I'll give you a few seconds here to finish up those 10 reps. All 
All right, so when we're done with those 10 reps, the next thing we're going to do is a lunge with the overhead reach and then a toe grab. So one knee on the ground, I lunge, I reach overhead, drop my hip back, touch my toe. Lunge, come back, touch my toe, 10 reps per leg, all right? So you can let that knee rest on the ground, reach overhead, come back, touch that toe. All right, let's go 10 reps a second. All right, then I'm just gonna scan through to see what everyone's doing. So you really wanna focus on that stretch. You don't wanna force anything, all right? You don't wanna put yourself in a position that you're gonna feel uncomfortable and maybe hurt yourself. All right, then if at any point, if anyone has a question about anything, you can just kind of unmute yourself, ask that question. I'm sure if you have a question, a lot more people have a question. All right, so it's 6.39 right now. I'm gonna give everyone two minutes to go grab some water, all right, and then come back. While you're grabbing that water, if you, haven't, if you don't have water, I also want you to grab a hockey stick or a broomstick or something like that. That way you can just kind of hold and press onto you, all right? So I'll give you a couple minutes to go do that and then just come back to your screen when you're ready. All right, and then once you grab that stick or that pole or whatever it is, you can just leave it off to the side right now. I'll explain what we're gonna do. I'll explain the movements. I'll go through all the movements. And then that way we all are on the same page. All right, so it seems like mostly everyone is back. So what we're gonna do today, we're gonna go through two different circuits, all right? Each circuit is gonna involve uh, three movements, but we're gonna split up one of the movements so we can get four rounds in. So we're gonna go four minutes for three rounds. So we're going 12 minutes a circuit. First one's gonna be pretty simple, all right? This is where you're gonna use the stick. So we're gonna go through a forward lunge we're gonna go through a seated press, a forward lunge again, and then lunge jumps. I'm gonna time you guys, so I'll tell you guys and girls when to stop, or, or not when to stop, rather when to start each time. And I'll give you about a five second countdown before we get going. So I'll go through all the movements. Movement number one, all right? It's going to be a forward lunge. What I'm gonna do is this is my stick right here. It's gonna be on the ground. I'm going to lunge and bring my foot back over the stick. Lunge back over the stick. I'm only using one leg for the first minute. All right, first minute, I'm gonna do 12 lunges with my right leg. The second minute, sitting flat on the ground with my stick, shoulder width apart in my hands. It's gonna be on my back, press overhead, bring back down. Overhead, back down. The main thing is here, when you press overhead, if I turn to the side, arms go straight overhead. All right, so I know my arms go out of the view, but I'm pressing straight overhead. The third minute, stick goes back on the ground. Now I do my left leg. Left leg, back up. Left leg, back up. If you notice, I'm using my arms. Arm comes through like I'm running. This arm back here, drive back through and back, all right? 
Then our fourth minute, we're gonna do lunge jumps, all right? So lunge jumps, same idea like I'm running, just hopping in the air. for my round. So the way it's going to work, all right? I'll tell you when to start. I'll tell you when you're gonna go. Minute one, 12 lunges, only with your right leg. Minute two, 12 presses behind the neck, slow and controlled. Minute three, 12 lunges with our left leg. Minute four, you're gonna go 24 total lunge jumps. Right, so everything is in factors of 12. If you have a question, just ask. I'll try to pay attention to as many screens as I can, just so we're all on the same page. All right, so find yourself some space. We'll get ready. Let me just take a look, see if everyone's got some space. Perfect, so minute one, it's just 12 lunges on our leg. You're really working on driving that foot into the ground, driving it back out. All right, so let's get going in three, two, one, and go. All right, use your arms, good active arms like you're running. All right, just go all on one leg. So we're stepping forward, all right? Step forward into that lunge and then push back. Be aggressive with that push back. You should have to do 12, so it's pretty easy to get 12 in a minute. All right, remember, good active arms. Keep that chest up in that lunge too. Let's not try to let that chest fall. So we got about 25 seconds here. So you should be finishing up those lunges. Then this is the one you need to grab your stick. You're sitting with your legs straight on the ground and we're gonna press behind our head. All right, so we still have about 15 seconds here. So don't get started yet. All right, I'll give you a five second countdown so you guys and girls can get set up, ready to go. All right, so we're gonna go in five, four, three, two, one, and go. All right, 12 presses behind the neck. Slow, controlled. All right, so you wanna to try to flex your core in this position. All right, you should be using a little bit of your hip flexors to force you to stand nice and tall. 12 of these, slow and controlled. Don't need to rush through them. We had about 30 seconds here, so we can take that rest for the 30 seconds. Okay, and then now we're gonna go back to our lunges on our other leg. We got about 20 seconds though. So remember, drive into the ground, push that leg back up. 15 seconds here. Let's go in five, four, three, two, one, and go. So step forward, push off that leg. All right, be aggressive with that pushback. All right, that's the most aggressive part. And remember when we're being athletic with our arms, if my right leg is going forward, my left elbow is going up. Good job everyone, great job. So be active with those arms like we're running. So we got about 30 seconds here, and then we're moving to our lunge jumps. Lunge jumps, same idea, we're being active with our arms. Your knee doesn't need to touch the ground in the lunge jumps, but I want you to try to jump as high as you can each jump, all right? So you're going 24 total, so that's 12 per leg. We have about 10 seconds here, and then we'll get started. All right, so let's be explosive in this movement. We're gonna go in three, two, one and go. All right, lunge jumps. Let's get as high as I can. Let's work on that balance too. All right, so we're going all the way down in the lunge as high as we can back up. All right, 24 total or 12 per leg. Good active arms. All right, so remember if the right leg is forward, left elbow is forward. Left leg forward, right elbow forward. Let's get as high as we can. All right, so we still got about 30 seconds. That's plenty of time to finish up if you haven't finished up yet. All right, so about 20 seconds here. We're gonna rotate through that circuit two more times. 
So in 20 seconds, we're going back to our right leg lunges. Let's go in five, four, three, two, one, and go. All right, right leg, be aggressive with that pushback. During that pushback, you wanna make it a little bit harder. Drive that knee into your chest on the way back up. All right, and then during that lunge, we're letting that knee touch the ground. All right, so if my right leg is going forward, I'm letting my left knee tap the ground and driving right back out of that. All right, so let's be active with those arms, all right? Active arms are gonna make this a lot easier. All right, so about 20 seconds here, and then we're gonna go back to our straight leg press. So about 10 seconds. All right, so hand and shoulder width, pressing behind, shoulder blades together, chest nice and proud. Let's go in three, two, one, and go, 12 reps. All right, get those arms straight overhead. Good active positioning. Everyone's look pretty good. All right, try not to dunk your head forward. Just try to keep that head nice and neutral. Pick a point on your wall or pick a point outside and just press overhead from there. All right, let's try to keep those legs straight too. So we got about 25 seconds, and then we're gonna go back to the lunges on the other side. All right, so lunge on the other side. Let's go in five, four, three, two, one, and go. All right, good active arms. Get that foot into the ground, drive out of it. All right, so we're working on balance here, working on that single leg strength. Also working on explosiveness coming out of that lunge. All right, so we just gotta do 12. Keep that chest nice and tall too. Don't let that chest fall forward. So we got about 25 seconds here. You still have plenty of time to finish them up. And then we're gonna go back to our lunge jumps. All right, lunge jumps, just because we're getting tired, let's still try to get as high as we possibly can. The more we use our arms with the lunge jumps, the higher we're gonna be able to jump. All right, so we're going lunge jumps in five, four, three, two, one, and go. All right, so that knee doesn't need to touch the ground, but let's come down to at least a pretty good depth of a lunge. All right, and we're just trying to pop out of one lunge right into the next one. All right, so let's be explosive out of those lunges. Good job, everyone, great job. All right, so we got about 30 seconds here. We're gonna do that circuit one more time. All right, so in about 25 seconds now, we're going back to our lunges. So 10 seconds here, this is gonna be our last round of this circuit. And then we're gonna take a little bit of a break before we go into the next one. Let's go in three, two, one and go. Active with those arms, drive forward. Remember right leg forward, left elbow up. Left leg forward, right elbow up. Work in opposites. All right, and then also be active on the way back up with your arms. Perfect, so we still got 30 seconds here, and then we're gonna move back to our last set of our straight leg press. So 
So straight leg press in 10 seconds. Let's go in five, four, three, two, one, and go straight leg press. All right, get those legs straight on the ground, press overhead, hand shoulder width apart. Let's not try to force our neck down or anything like that. So we got about 30 seconds here, plenty of time to finish up. And then we're gonna move on to our last set of our lunges for this circuit. So we got 20 seconds here. Let's get ready for those lunges. And we're gonna go in three, two, one, and go. Last set of our lunges here. All right, let's get moving. Keep that chest nice and tall, be active with those arms. Try to just press that foot off the ground. So we're just doing our regular lunges here, not our lunge jumps. All right, just press into it, press out of it. Good active arms, drive back. All right, we're almost done with this circuit and then we get a little bit of a break. All right, so we got about 25 seconds then we're gonna to move to lunge jumps. All right, 15 seconds, we're gonna finish up with our last set of lunge jumps. Let's go in five, four, three, two, one and go. Good job, be active with those arms. Let's keep that chest nice and tall. Let's just keep moving 24 total here. All right. So it's 6.55 right now. So as you're finishing up, so I'm gonna give you two minutes to go get some water and then come back. So we'll come back here at 6.57. So a couple minutes to get some water, kind of rest, recover, and then we'll go into our next circuit. We'll wait about one more minute here for everyone to get back. And then we'll get started into our second circuit. So that first circuit is just kind of like our warm up circuit just to get our legs moving, just to get our shoulders nice and loose. The second circuit we're going to go in or that we're going to go through is just going to be a little bit more advanced movements, just a little bit more intense than that last one. All right. So same idea. All right. We're going to work a little bit of legs, a little bit of shoulders little bit of everything in this. So the first movement we're gonna do is we're gonna do a variation of a push-up. I'll go through the variations that you can do. All right, the second movement, we're gonna do what are called pogo jumps, which I'll show you again. The third movement we're gonna do, all right, instead of a push-up, you're gonna use that stick that you still hopefully have, and we're gonna do some kind of rowing with it to help with our back. 
And then our fourth movement is going to be squats. So first movement is push-ups, second movement, pogo jumps, third movement, rowing, fourth movement, squats. So I'll go through our push-up variations and I'm going to go through how I want them done. That way we can work on the whole muscle and not just work on the partial muscle. So if I set up my station again, this is what I'm going to do. All right, so for my push-up, I can go from my feet or from my knees. Both are very okay styles of push-ups. I go down, hands come out to the side, bring them back in. Down, out, back in. All right, you can do it from your knees or your feet. Totally up to you. The goal though is to get your chest and thighs to the ground, all right? That's minute one. Minute two, pogo jumps. Feet hip width apart. All we're doing, popping up off our toes. All right, I can use my arms if I want. I'm looking for max height. Minute three, with the stick that I have. Okay, palms are gonna face forward. I'm gonna lean forward. I'm gonna pull the stick right above my belly button. So palms forward, lean forward. I'm holding the stick there. I'm pulling it into my body. We're going to go for a 40 second hold. All right, so I'll tell you when to start and when to stop on that. Minute four, squatting. Feet shoulder width apart, chest nice and tall. All right, when we squat, I want our hands to go down to the ground with our elbows on the inside of our knee. So this is what I want our squats to look like. I don't want this. Your knees should never come in. We're pushing those knees to the outside of my elbows. All right, chest still stays nice and tall. In terms of the reps, we're gonna do 10 push-ups the first minute. The second minute, we're doing 20 pogo jumps. The third minute, it's that 40 second hold. And then the fourth minute, we're doing 15 air squats, all right? So a little bit more of a change up, not such a straight through kind of rep ski. So 10, 20, 40 second hold, 15 air squats. I'll just remind you every round, that way we all know what we're doing, all right? So let's get ready for the first one. Let's get ready for our push-ups. You can do them from your knees, you can do them from your feet. Remember, we come down to the ground, hands come out wide, hands come back in for our push-up. All right, so let's take a quick look, make sure everyone is ready to go here. Seems like they are. So 10 push-ups, chest touches the ground, hands come out to the side. Let's go in three, two, one, and go. All right, get those hands out to the side. That's gonna help us get that full range of motion in that muscle. All right, another thing we want to be thinking about is keeping that core nice and tight on the way up through that push up. So we just got to do 10 of these a minute. Shouldn't be that hard. Good job, everyone. Doing great. All right, so we got about 25 seconds here, plenty of time to finish up. Then we're gonna move over to our pogo jumps. All right, so for our pogo jumps, just popping up off our toes. We're going 20 reps. Each rep, we're going as high as we can. All right, so we got 10 seconds here. Pogo jumps going in five, four, three, two, one, and go. 20 reps as high as we can jump. Get as high as you can. All right, use your arms to help with that jump. Let's not try to look like seals in the air or fish out of water. We're just going straight up. All right, so we got about 40 seconds here. Then we're gonna move back to our upper body. So you need that stick again. Remember for this one, we're going palms forward, leaning over, the bar is gonna sit right above our belly button. All right, so we're gonna wait about 20 seconds here before we get started. I want you to think about squeezing your back as tight as you can and opening up your chest. All right, another thing too, you can always, if for the ones on Zoom right now, you can always just use your camera 
all right, and see what your body is doing. We're going to go in five, four, three, two, one, and go. So lean over and we're just holding there as tight as you can. All right. So lean and hold that stick. Hold that stick at your belly button. Yeah, there we go. All right. So we got about 30 more seconds here. We're trying to create as much tension as we can. Squeeze as tight as we can. Keep going. Keep going. We got about 10 more seconds. All right, and then let's relax. So during this 20 second break, a couple of things we wanna work on with that row. I still want my eyesight going forward and I want my chest nice and tall. So I should never be in this position where I'm rolled forward. Chest always tall, pulling into me. All right, five seconds, we're going into 15 air squats. All right, so we're going in three, two, one, and go. All right, so remember we're doing the Hands to the ground, we're staying flat footed too. One thing I didn't mention before, your heels should never come off the ground. We're not doing jumps. We're literally just working on that squat motion coming back up. All right, just 15 of these. So still keep that chest up. Those arms should stay straight the whole time. So we got about 15 seconds here, and then we're going back to our push-ups. All right, so those push-ups, remember 10 push-ups, hands come out, push back up, out, push back up. We're going in five, four, three, two, one, and go. So all the way down to the ground, get those hands out to the side, bring them back up. You got about 30 seconds here, then we're going back to our pogo jumps. If you felt like 20 pogo jumps wasn't enough, let's go to 30 pogo jumps, all right? But each rep, we're getting as high as we can, all right? So if you felt like 20 was too easy in that minute, let's go to 30 this minute. Still got 20 seconds. All right, so don't start yet. We got 10 seconds, then we'll get going with our pogo jumps. So pogo jumps in five, four, three, two, one, and go. So minimum 20, if you felt like they were too easy, let's go to 30, but we're getting as high as we can each rep. All right, use your arms. That arms Using your arms is going to help you get some height out of this pogo jump. So we got 30 seconds here, and then we're moving to our rows. All right, so for our rows, we almost want to think of breaking that stick or that broomstick around our body. That's how tight we're pulling this broomstick into us. So we got 15 seconds. 10 seconds. All right, so we should be pulling it into our belly button, lean forward, try to break that stick around you. Let's go in three, two, one, and go. Remember, chest nice and tall. Chest nice and tall, palms forward. All right, so your palms should be facing forward, not over the stick, but under the stick. Pull that stick into you. Let's try to break it around that belly button. All right, so we should be leaning over, leaning over. If you're not leaning over, you're not doing it right. All right. So your eyesight should be looking forward, but your chest should be facing the ground. All right, think of leaning over in that way. Chest facing the ground, eyesight still forward. You got 10 more seconds. All right, and we're good. So now we're gonna got about 15 seconds here, and then we're moving on to our squats. If you felt like 15 squats was too easy, let's go to 20 squats this minute. All right, but we're staying flat-footed. 
elbows on the inside of our knees with our arms straight down to the ground in three, two, one, and go. So stay flat footed the whole time. Don't let that chest fall forward either. All right, so get those elbows on the inside of those knees. Got about 30 seconds here. We're gonna rotate through that one more time. All right, so we're gonna go back to our push-ups. You still got plenty of time to finish up these squats if you're still working on them. All right, we're gonna go push-ups in 15 seconds. So we're going back to our push-ups in five, four, three, two, one, and go. So all the way down, get those arms out to the side. That way it can help push you back up. All right, during that push-up, keep that core nice and tight. So your chest and your hips should move in one smooth motion. All right, so we got about 30 seconds here, and then we're going back to our pogo jumps. So remember, if 20 was too easy, we're going to go to 30 pogo jumps. Got about 20 seconds. Ten seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, and go. All right, pogo jumps, 20 to 30. Each rep, you're trying to jump as high as you can. All right, everyone's doing a great job. Pop up off those toes, get that good height. All right, so we got plenty of time here. We got about 40 seconds to finish up those pogo jumps. And then we're moving back to our row. All right, so remember that row, we're trying to break that stick around our belly button. So what I said before about your chest reaching the ground, think of also your belly button pointing towards the ground, all right? That's gonna help your body lean over and then that way you can pull back more using your back muscles. All right, so belly button or chest facing the ground, whichever way you wanna think about it, and then pull those elbows back nice and tight. We're gonna go in five, four, Three, two, one, and go. All right, so belly button pointing towards the ground. Think of your belly button towards the ground. Think of pulling your elbows back. Think about breaking that stick around your body. All right, you wanna squeeze that upper back as tight as you can right now. You got about 25 seconds. So belly button and chest facing the ground. That's what I want you to think about. All right, so think about did you look what are you did you look like what I looked like before leaning forward? We got about five seconds here. All right, just keep keep going, keep going. Don't stop, don't stop. All right, and we're good. So last minute here of this circuit, we're going back to our squats. All right, so our fifteen to twenty squats in a minute. We got ten seconds. All right, we're gonna go in five, four. Three, two, one, and go. Those squats we just did, staying flat footed, chest nice and tall. All right, don't let your chest fall. You should be able to reach the ground with your hands, keeping your chest nice and tall. 15 to 20. All right, so then as you're finishing up, 7.12 right now, I'll give you till 7.15 to get back. So you got about two, three minutes to grab some water. During this time, if you want to grab like a pad or something or a pillow that you can put your elbows on, we're going to go through some core circuits. 
that way it's just a little bit more friendly on your elbows versus maybe a hard concrete floor or anything like that. So if you have like a yoga mat or a pillow, that's going to work great here. All right, so a couple more minutes for everyone to grab some water, find themselves a pillow or a mat. That way they can rest their elbows on it. All right, so for ones that are back, this will be the last part of our workout today. However, it's probably the most important and takes a little bit of the longest to get through just because of all the movements we're gonna add into it to help make our core stronger. All right, so I'll wait about one more minute and then we'll get started and I'll do the exact same thing I did before. I'll demo the movements, I'll go through some modifications and then that way you can choose which one works best for you. Uh, either the easiest one or the hardest one or the one that's kind of right in between. So we'll take one more minute here. All right, and we will finish up with some stretching too. So it is a little bit of everything. So we got warm up, we got our two circuits, we got some core work, and then we'll finish up with stretching at the end. All right, so seems like most people are back. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go through first a plank circuit, and then we're gonna go through like a sit up leg raise circuit. So the first plank circuit we're gonna do, I'm gonna demo the movements, but we're gonna go front plank on our elbows. Then we're gonna go side plank on our side. Then we're gonna go back to our front plank on our hands this time, and then side plank on the other side. So what that looks like is my first plank on my elbows, second plank on my side right here, third plank on my hands, fourth plank on my other side. All right, so we're working in a circular motion to work all parts of our core. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna time you again. I'll tell you when to stop, or I'll tell you when to start, tell you when to stop. 20 seconds, 20 seconds, 20 seconds, 20 seconds. Excuse me. We're gonna go through that three times. All right, so. Let's get set up for that first plank on our elbows. During this plank, you wanna think about flexing your quads and flexing your glutes as tight as you can, All right? That's gonna help work on our core, make us stronger in that area. So we'll get going in three, two, one, and go 20 seconds as tight as you can in that plank. All right, so I'll tell you when to rest and I'll tell you when to start. So keep going, you got 10 more seconds. All right, let's rest during this rest, transition to your elbow. All right, so we're going in five, four, three, two, one, and go 20 seconds on our side. Keep those hips nice and high. Don't let those hips touch the ground. All right, if you wanna make it harder, Point your free hand towards either your ceiling or the sky. All right, that way your shoulders are stacked up. Keep holding, keep holding. And perfect, all right? So let's rest during this rest. Let's transition to our hands, all right? If it's too hard on our hands, you can always go back to the elbows. We're going in three, two, one, and go. Same idea, hold that plank, flex your quads, flex your glutes as tight as you can. 10 more seconds here, just keep going, keep going. All right, perfect, let's take a rest here. Let's transition to our other side plank now. So the side we didn't work on before. Going in three, two, one, and go. Hips nice and high. Get that hand towards the ceiling, stack those shoulders. You want to think about flexing those quads, flexing those glutes. We got 10 more seconds here. 
All right. So that hand should be out in front of you, not facing forward. It should be facing out in front of your body. All right. So 10 second rest here. Let's transition back down to that low plank. All right. Low plank in three, two, one, and go. All right, so let's still work on staying tight. As we get tired, we don't want those hips to drop. We want to fight to keep those hips nice and high, especially during this low plank. We still got five seconds in this plank. All right, let's rest and let's transition back to our side plank. All right, doesn't matter which side you go to first, as long as we hit both sides in each round. And two, one, and go, side plank. All right, so that elbow, all right, or think of your fist pointing in the same line as your chest is pointing. All right, so your fist isn't pointing above your head. It's pointing in the same line as my chest. All right, and let's rest. Let's transition to our hands. And we're going to go in three, two, one, and go. All right, so you got to fight for a good position, especially as you get tired. Think of your body in a solid, straight line. And let's transition down to our side plank. So our side plank on the other side, we haven't worked yet in this round. And we're going to go in three, two, one, and go. All right, so... Core is easy to do in terms of the movements, but it's hard to do when it comes to work and rest ratios and all of that. All right. So if you're with the person with the hand pointing towards the sky, don't let that top shoulder fall. You want to be in a straight line from elbow through your shoulders to your hand. All right, let's rest. And we're going to go through that one more time. All right. So we're going to go back to our plank and our elbows in three, two, three one and go on our elbows last round here all right so this is the round that really counts where you really got to fight for it flex those glutes flex those quads as tight as you can all right i know you're getting tired you got 10 more seconds in this plank keep going keep going don't stop we're almost at the end all right let's transition to our side plank side plank in three two, one, and go. Hips nice and high, flex those glutes, flex those quads. Keep going, keep going. You got 10 more seconds here. Doing great, all right. Let's take a break here. We're gonna transition to our plank on our hands. Plank on our hands in three, two, one, and go. All right, we're almost done. Keep going, 10 more seconds in this plank and then we got our side plank. All right, let's transition down to our side plank. We're gonna go in three, two, one, and go. All right, keep fighting, keep fighting. We're almost done here. All right, perfect. So let's take a break here. All right, we'll take about a minute. We'll go through one more little core circuit, all right? So that core, the idea of doing a lot of core is to stabilize our hips, stabilize our back. We use our core in kicking, we use our core in stopping, we use our core in running. Our core is basically used in absolutely everything we do as an athlete. So that's why we just spend a little bit more time working on to stabilize it and then working on ranges of motion too. So the next thing we're gonna go through is leg raises or tucks, I'll go through two different options and then I'll go through sit-ups and what we actually look for in a sit-up or what I look for in a sit-up to get a good core workout, all right? So for the leg raises, you have two options. You can do a straight leg raise or a knee tuck, 
So I'll go through both of those. All right. So my straight leg option, all right, my legs are probably going to get cut out of the screen. Hands by my side or across my chest. My hands do not go underneath my butt. I'm going to hold them across my chest, lift my legs up straight, back down. I just have to bring my hips to a 90 and back down. On the way back down, my feet don't touch the ground. That's option one. Option two, feet not touching the ground, bring them into my chest, kick out. In, out. All right, so those are your two options for leg raises. For the sit-ups, we're only going to go with one option, but we're going to go through how to properly do a sit-up to get that full core contraction and not worry about hurting our back or anything. So sit up, my feet are flat, butt on the ground, hands by my ha behind my head, all right? That way I don't need my chest, my hands across my chest. So I'm here, I come up, and if you notice, my chest is nice and tall, back is straight. I'm not leaning into my sit up like this. I just need to come to an upright position, come down. Upright position, come down, all right? I'm not doing this where I'm arching my back to come up. I want to try to keep that back nice and straight the whole time. Use my core to help me get back up. So what we're going to do to finish up before we get into our stretching, <laughs> excuse me. So pretty simple. You're going to do two rounds at your own pace. You're going to go 10 leg raises, 10 sit-ups. Two rounds, your own pace, 10 leg raises, 10 sit-ups. Remember, if you can't do the leg raises, you're going to do your knee tucks instead. All right, so get started whenever you want. I'll give you a couple minutes to get that done. At 727, we're going to go through some stretching, and then we are done. So get started with those leg raises and sit-ups. Two rounds of 10 and 10. All right, hands across your chest. Hands cannot be underneath your butt. Hands underneath your butt makes it too easy. Two rounds of 10 and 10, and then we'll do some stretching to finish up, and then we're done. All right, so that while you're finishing up, we'll do this recovery. So it doesn't matter if you're an older athlete, if you're a younger athlete, everything we did today just kind of went through the fundamentals of movement. All right, so we did some single leg work. We did some pressing, all right, that behind the neck pressing to help open up our chest. And then we did some pressing where we worked on actual push-ups. All right, we did some squatting. So everything we did today was just kind of fundamental movements that from a young athlete to an older athlete can do. All right, so while you're finishing up that core, we'll move into our recovery and our stretching. All right, so recovery and stretching, the older you get, the more you need to do this. All right, the younger athletes, you could probably get away with a little bit less of it, but the more you can build this into your routine, especially after practice in games, the better you're going to feel throughout the season and throughout the year. So stretching is going to be pretty simple. I'm going to do the same thing. I'll show you the motions. You'll do the motions. And we'll just kind of work in that flow. First one we're going to do, very similar to that toe touch we did at the beginning. But now we're going to be flat on the ground. Okay? So when I do this toe touch, I should naturally be able to touch my toes. I am not doing this. 
and just throwing my body forward. Naturally touch my toes, come back up. All right, so let's everyone do 10 of those. So 10 reps, just touching our toes, coming back up. If you can't touch your toes, just reach as far as you can. Don't force anything, just move through those motions. All right, 10 of those. All right, so don't force it. Hold that end range for a couple seconds. We're just going to do 10 reps of those. All right, so the next one we're going to do is you're finishing that up. Same idea, leg straight. However, I'm going to take one leg and I'm going to turn it out to the side. So I should feel a stretch in this quad. So what this looks like from the side, leg straight. I should get it to about lined up with my body and I'm going to lean forward and then come back. Lean forward, come back. 10 per side, I'm reaching across with my opposite hand. So it looks like in the front, here you can use a back hand for support, forward and back. Let's go 10 per side. Nice and slow, don't need to force any movements. All right, then when you're done with that, grab your stick that we used for the workout today, and we'll go through some upper body um, recovery we can do. That way we're not tight tomorrow. Okay, so got my stick, all right? All I'm gonna do is keep my arms straight, and I'm gonna go around my body, all right? If it's too easy with your arms wide, you bring them in closer and you just go around your body. Let's do 10 of those. Keep those arms straight the entire time. All right, and if you have to bend your arms, then you gotta go wider on your stick. All right, and then when you're done with that, we're done for the day. I think uh, sending it back to Ryan to say a few words to finish up. All right, but if you do have any questions about anything, you can always just get my contact information um, from Ryan and he'll be able to send your question over to me. Everyone have some fun today. Wait a few moments to see if Ryan's gonna come back on and then if hey Justin, this is Peter. <clears throat> this hey, is Peter. Peter. I will finish it up. Well, perfect. Yep. Is, um, okay. Hey boys and girls, I think it was it was cool, right? I watched most of you like some new exercises. Um what I like you to do is uh, there is like a group chat or a chat like you in the bottom, you can click on that and then you can type in just what we like is like, hey, we want to like your feedback, uh, like, hey, how do you like it? Did they, you think the exercises were good? Um, like, hey, or hey, maybe some feedback. Was it too long? Right or that kind of thing. Just whatever you uh, want to type in. You have another three minutes, four minutes to finish that before we close the there. Uh, Coach Justin, uh, thank you very much for your um, for your hard work. I see you're even uh, broke a sweat there. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. Right, this that's good. Like some good exercises, some good tips for our uh, boys and. Uh, 
and and gun right there's all right yep there's i i already see uh, things are coming in just uh, keep uh, posting your um, your feedback boys and girls good job and um next time um uh, uh, we will uh, we will go back to the ball mastery and maybe in the next couple of weeks we will see justin uh, back again right yeah right here yeah. like one of the girls are i don't know if you can see if, uh, justin on the chat but like uh, one girl is saying i really liked it it was fun right there's more things are coming in perfect right there's that's 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 good feedback this uh, we leave it uh, the stream open a little bit a couple more minutes for them to to uh, finish up there right here. thank you yeah no problem yeah thank you no problem at all thank you no problem thank you no problem. Thank you. Do you see the chat, uh, Justin, or not? Uh, no, I actually can't. I can only um, – it doesn't let me see everything that's coming in. I think it, it can only go to you or Ryan. Yeah, to me and Ryan. But, like, Thank yeah, you. I like this session. I would like it to Thank happen you. again. It was good and enjoyed it. Somebody else that's, like, uh, yeah, there's um, – good yeah yeah no i'll definitely come back if you guys will have me back yeah, no it's great right you're you're the, you're the expert we don't know much about this yeah <laughs> all right we're going to close the stream all right, um, right? It, it was challenging this uh, again uh, justin thank you very much boys and girls no problem like we will see you back on uh, thursday with your ball uh, mastery work all right yeah. thank you have a good night you too thank you, justin